To me, I think this is what scares a lot of new users away from Dynamo, is the fact that you start pulling these down and you could see that they go on forever and ever and ever if you keep expanding them. I'll tell you a little secret. I never, ever, ever manually look for a node. I always search for nodes. And once you realize that, and once you start looking for specific nodes using the search command, it gets a little less scary to work inside of Dynamo. So don't feel like you need to learn every single node within every single category or subcategory within this. You'll see that over time, you're gonna build a knowledge base and know which, which nodes you're gonna look for, or you're just gonna simply give it a shot. And based on what you're looking for and what you're trying to do, you can search for those terms and you'll see that the nodes will come up. Sometimes the hardest part in beginning with Dynamo is actually knowing where to begin. Well, the answer is really simple. The reoccurring theme, or better yet, let's call it a mantra. The mantra of this entire video series is Dynamo does it the way you do it. And this will help you simplify everything and even the most complex things in Dynamo. Think about what you would do with a keyboard and mouse or within Revit itself to accomplish the task you are trying to create. So in the example we're using here, if I minimize Dynamo, let's think about the steps it takes to actually rotate a column. Well, I need to select the column. I need to type the rotate command. I need to activate the rotate command. And then I need to type in or, or select an angle. And then once I end the command, it's rotated. 